yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys d sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you the biggest video of the year so today we're going to be doing 100 plus mods you need in the sims 4 in 2024 now i've done a couple of mod videos on my channel and of course those are from two and three years ago so it is definitely time for a refresh this video has been highly requested by so many and i'm happy that i can finally give you guys an update today's mods some of them have been listed in my previous videos but they have grown exponentially and add a ton of new stuff to the game i'm going to be linking every single mod that's mentioned in this video in a huge post where you can go and click and it'll take you right to the mod description page. There's so much to get into today and we have so many mods, the biggest mod review I've ever done. So let's get to it. But of course, before we start, I have a few disclaimers and please, please, please listen up because they're very important. Please read the mod description of every mod you download. Not only does the mod description give you a ton of information, it also tells you if you need required packs or even other mods for the mod to perform properly. So please, read the mod description. <laughs> Next, the date that I'm recording this, all of the mods are free to the public for everyone to use. Please know that that can change. That's happened in one of my previous mod videos where I've linked a mod and then it turned out that it was behind a paywall. I have no control over that. So please be aware that things can change. But the date that I'm recording it is all free. And lastly, if this video helped you out, even in the slightest, please hit the like button and consider subscribing because this video took an insane amount of time to put together and I would really appreciate your support. I'm gonna be breaking everything down into categories so it's not so all over the place and those categories will be timestamped throughout this video. The category of mods includes casts, build and buy, essential mods, food mods, romance and relationship mods, pregnancy mods, gameplay mods, quality of life mods, and in-game overrides with a few honorable mentions along the way. Like I said, this is the one of the biggest mod videos I've ever created. It's 100 plus mods. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I can't go into extreme detail, but I'm gonna try to give you guys as much as I can, as fast as I can. So let's just jump right into it. Of course, I'm using a copy of my Our Journey Let's Play. If you don't know me, of course, I didn't even introduce myself. Hold on a second. I'm D. <laughs> I play a variety of Let's Plays, Sims Let's Plays here on my channel absolutely love them. I play a heavily modded game, as you can tell, <laughs> and I love it. I'm in a copy of our journey, so not, anything that happens here is not gonna be in the series. Don't worry about it. And of course, I'm using my sim self. B, starting in cast. One thing you'll be able to see is I have five columns of stuff here, and that is just the best thing ever. I cannot live without this mod. This is one of the mods I have to have updated before I can update my game because I just need to see everything. I have so much CC. So being able to see more of it at one time is such a huge thing. Also, if you have bigger monitors, this could really help, but it should work on any monitor. There are options for three, four and five columns. Next is Northern Siberia Winds cast tuning control position mod. That's a whole mouthful, I know. The main thing that I use this mod for, and I'm being completely honest, is for this right here. I use this not only to pick out the nails for my sim, but even rings, sometimes I need to see the jewelry and I can't get up close and personal. I believe this mod adds other categories to be unlocked, but I love this so much. This combined with the Sim standstill mod, chef kiss, it is literally perfect. One thing you may notice over here in this section of my screen where you see our traits is that I have more trait slots and that's the mod more traits and cast. Not only does it add um, additional slots for your cash traits, but it also does them for lock traits as well. So I have a lot of traits here and sometimes three is just not enough. But the good thing is you can use this mod with the new self-discovery trait system that came with growing together. So now I'm able to put even more traits on my sim. If I go here to this icon and pick likes and dislikes, one of my favorite mod is the instant cast story preferences. It is so good for storytelling. It's so good when you just need to make Sims and just have them have stuff without you having to do everything. And by this, I mean, you can go through and say that your Sims like baking and gardening and it will give them those skills. And if you dislike them, I, I believe it'll be harder for your Sims to gain those skills. Another thing is the career. You can choose a career for your Sim. I'm not sure which level it will give you, but I believe it's around four or five or something like that but you can expect your sim to have this career when you load up into your game. 
same thing as a degree if you're making a sim and you want them to have a degree without having to cheat everything in you could just do all these things in cast and don't mind don't mind these she posing for y'all um you could do all these things in cast and it just saves you a ton of time and lastly i get asked about this so much about all of the traits that i use because you can see i have way more than what's given to us in the vanilla game and i use all traits from chingy and of course i will link the page for all the traits down below there are a ton of different traits they come with buffs they come with moodlets they come with a lot of different things so definitely make sure you read up on it now of course i have to do some honorable mentions for cast and one of them I'm, my sim is actually using right now i think we're using it in this category so if you can see here this is the universal hair overlay and i recently started using a lot of max's match hairs absolutely love them they have just grown so much over the years and they're beautiful this is a max's match hair and without it my sims hair is just not as dark as i would like it to i mostly only use this for the black swatch um i do use alpha eyebrows and sometimes those are darker than the the darkest swatch we can get so i'm using the universal hair overlays especially in the makeup category i can go through for instance this is what the black texture would look like and i can go down and turn down the brightness of this and completely make it fit my sim see you can change it and everything so right now you can see like there's that little highlight uh try to get rid of that and then you can adjust it you can see it gets brighter and it can go down to the darkest so this is something that i use all the time especially when using max's hairs it doesn't always work but it works majority of the time one of the things that i absolutely love is the stomach detail especially sometimes if you're using max's skins there's not a ton of detail or texture on the skin and i absolutely love these belly masks it makes it realistic your sims can have different looking tummies and it's something i really like i'm also a fan of the pregnancy belly mask i've used this recently on a journey when she was pregnant with her baby and it was it was good you just find one that fits your, your sim skin tone and it all works in this skin detail category one thing i'm also obsessed with is just like masks over the skin that gives the skin more texture and stuff and that's anything by Northern Siberian Wind. Like they are the goal and I just love putting these things on my Sims. I have a cleavage mask right here and there's even things like putting on abs and stuff. Of course we can't see that cause I have a tattoo uh, belly mask on right now. But if I'm to get rid of that, you can see that your Sims can have abs and things like that. And of course you can adjust them to your skin tone and different things like that last biggest thing you can see the difference here is my cast background i change them so much like i change them out frequently probably too much but i absolutely love them it adds a level of realism and it's cute back in the house here we're going to get into our build and buy mods now the first mod that i have to put on the list is the tool mod i use this mod so much um, if you have tool installed with another mod we're going to talk about better build by you can actually use them while you're in build mode and i absolutely love this mod it is very much needed and it is a lifesaver i mostly use it for positioning things and scaling things up for instance if this painting was a little too big we could take it down and make it smaller and that's mostly what i use it for it's also perfect for machinimas if you need to move people into certain spots it is the goat i love it so much you can make so many different things with the tool mod one of the things that i used to do and i still do sometimes is actually move things off the lot if i wanted this little area over here and this green area to be a playground i could basically set it up and then so highlight everything and move it over here in this area and when sims come by and they walk by it may even interact with it i get questions a lot about my categories and things like that and the biggest thing that i use is better build by it organizes the bug menus it keep things categorized it's just a huge organizational thing with better build by you can keep things on like move objects all the time organize the bug and even deletion protection which is one of my favorites because sometimes when you put things in certain places like you've moved objects it or you use the alt key to move it into a certain spot sometimes when you change the wallpaper things want to act like they're going to get deleted with the deletion protection on you can change the wallpaper in a room and your stuff won't get deleted it's the best also recently the biggest update was that that little cart 
that used to be up here that was pulsating for people to buy more stuff, it was removed. <laughs> Better Build Buy adds a ton of just quality of life features that needs to be in the build menu. And it is essential when I am building. And I build a lot. The next mod I, ha I have to talk about because I use it a ton ever since I discovered it is this mod by Ravasheen. It is the Easy Peasy Lumen Squeezy Light. And it is just everything. First, you can get this switch and you can see something that says show all and hide all. And that is, are these little light bulbs, essentially. There are different variants of this uh, light bulb. I believe they have a wall lighting one. There is the ceiling one, which is the one I use all the time. And I'm, there's another one. I can't think of it. I'm kind of blanking at the moment. But one of the biggest things is that if I am to build a room, you can see why I use this mod. It is so... It is just so needed. You can see how dark that room is and your traditional light, you may have to put three or four of the little small saucer lights to make it bright. And one thing about me is I love me a bright game. I already can't see child. So please make it bright, please. For instance, this is a light from Get to Work, I believe, versus if you was to go ahead and use one from the Easy Peasy Lemon. Squeezy, it is an insane difference. Also, I forgot to add with tool and build by, oh wait, hold on. With tool and build by, you can shift click on a light and you can change it to any color. And you can do this with the easy peasy lights. And y'all, I just love them so much. It makes my game bright. Sometimes it could be a little much and you can't use them all the time in the room with stairs. As you can see here, some, maybe that's been updated because Ravishing has updated a ton of mods. So maybe that's been updated, but um, I love this light. It's super bright. Sometimes I even have to adjust them. So that's a light that I use pretty much in all of my builds now, and I highly recommend. Definitely a fan fave, these next mods. These are the OM, o I can never say it, OMSP. <laughs> the OMSP yellow sticks. I just know them as yellow sticks. That's what I call them. It's gotten to the point where people have been requesting these so much, they ask me, D, what are those yellow things called? We even have a command in my Twitch channel called Yellow Sticks where it'll link you directly to this. But there are so many different OMSPs out there. Basically, you can put this on a stick and then using Alt with Move Objects on, of course, you can basically move this anywhere into a, you know, into a space. And I use this all of the time, especially like when you wanna decorate something Maybe it doesn't have enough slots or it's just not where you want it to be. I've used it quite a bit all over this kitchen, probably somewhere. Um, so it's just super cute. I love this mod. It helps me so much. But again, like I said, there's so many out there. So many creators have made these uh, sticks or shelves or whatever. But this is the one that I use. The next one is going to be pretty difficult to showcase as in right now. It is spring currently in my game. Um, but the last building by mod that I absolutely cannot live without is the Twisted Mexi No Weather and Build By. Basically, just gonna set up a little scenario. If it was snowing here and the ground was covered in snow, if I wanted to do something out here, if I wanted to build out here, there will be no way for you to see it. But with that mod, it basically gets rid of all of the weather effects. So you can still build in peace. And when you go back into... Uh, when you go back into playing your game, everything will be what it was beforehand. So I think that's it for my build and buy. Of course, I have a ton of CC, but those are the mods that I use that I have to have when building tool mod, better build by my lights, my yellow sticks, and of course, no weather when I'm building because child, I got things to do. Speaking of CC, I definitely have some honorable mentions in my build and buy. I'm excited to show you guys these. And that is all of the infant and toddler things by dollish everyone has been asking about all of my infant and toddler cc that i've had in my game recently since we had growing together and i just love all of these things by dollish some of them are cribs some of them function as play mats they're so cute they're so realistic and um it'll tell you if it supports infants or infants and toddlers and they're just so cute, like a little car seat and they have cute little swatches. And one of the things I was hoping for when uh, Grown Together came out and Infants came out was functional strollers. Unfortunately, the strollers I have, they don't move, but 
they work as a high chair. So they're still cute to take out in public and I just absolutely love them. This is the stroller I am absolutely in love with. It is, it says gloomy traits functional stroller and it supports infant and toddler so you can use this as your babies just like grow up and stuff and it's so cute it functions as a high chair so you can feed your infants and your toddlers and this cute little stroller and i just love it so much it's so cute another honorable mention has to come from a winged llama i absolutely love their cc i love all of the plants i am obsessed with plants in my game and just making things look good with greenery and also y'all know i've been using this remote in a lot of my builds it's just the nostalgia for me this is from a wing llama's nostalgia pack and girl this with the cable box like i'm no good i'm no good i just love it so much i love all of their cc i'll be linking it down below so you can check them out there's so much to choose from and it's all so cute last honorable mention for the build in my category is all of ravishing's uh cc absolutely love ravishing to death i love all of their stuff some things are decorational some things are functional and like for instance we have like a little thermostat here and there's i have so much of ravishing cc if you've been watching my builds following my series for a long time you know how much i praise ravishing their stuff is so cute. It works everywhere. There's things that you would want quality of life type things. Like if you wanted a counter washer and dryer, she got you. Like I said, there's so many things to consider and look at. We have like skating rinks without like the little bounds and the railing and stuff like that. There's just so much. Also her downloads page is very, very organized. You can type things in and it will take it to you directly and everything comes with a little pun moving on to our essential mods a mod i would never start my game up without is mc command i use this mod all of the time there's so many features of this mod i can't even get into it that's like a whole separate video if you don't know mc command center is literally the command center of the sims there's so many things you can do there's cheats you can add in different things you can adjust certain things things like the length of a lifespan or how frequently your bills are delivered and how much are your bills you can copy and paste outfits to your sims and makeup for instance when you don't want to put it on every single outfit you can start pregnancies you can determine genders you can fill your world you could delete some of your world you can stop objects from spawning in on your sims you can give your sims flags so they won't be called for some certain things you could turn off aging you could turn on aging there is so much you could set relationships and get in the percentage of relationships and whether you want them to be a mother or a father there's just so much you can do with mc command and it is very much needed in your game you can set up things like your homework progression, your neighborhood story things, if teens are able to quit school, the difficulty of university. There's so many things, population, clubs, careers, just general settings. If you wanted to talk about money settings and things like that. And since I've been using MC Command to set the age span for my Sims on a normal lifespan, and that's why I've been playing with age and all recently because I've adjusted all of the days. And for instance, like a, a child normally, I think a child EA's default is 14 days. I decided to add mine to 20 so they can just have a full life and experience different things. Same thing with the teen. EA is 21. I changed mine to 24. Young adult, they have 28 days for in my game. They have 38 and adults. So I just want to experience all the new things that was added in with the game, such as midlife crisis and teenage uh, mood swings and like kids losing their teeth and things like that and sometimes I feel like there's just not enough time in the lifespan and I've really been enjoying aging up my sims and like falling in love with their their childlike stage but having them grow into a teen it's just really special so MC command gives you the control to literally change anything within your game another mod I can't live without is UI cheats UI cheats you can right click on pretty much any part of the UI and you can fix things like the game time you can even go into relationships and adjust them saying I wanted them to be the best friends ever and you can do all of this with UI cheats um the same thing can happen with skills and different things like that if I wanted her to be level eight I could click that same thing you could do an MC command you could do it a little bit quicker with UI cheats um even giving your sims a little extra cash you could do that 
also like giving your sims extra cash you can do that and then some you are cheap Like giving your sims extra cash you can do that and then some you can remove traits you can even change your reputation if you want it it's so many things it's so helpful sometimes your sims are just in the worst moods ever and you just wanna you just wanna fix it for them okay like if homegirl was funky while we was recording this we could just click it and everything is filled again I literally cannot live without that mod. Mod Guard is a new mod by Twisted Mexi. Will basically make sure that your game is not running any backup files that can corrupt or um, add anything bad to your computer. It is active and it monitors and mon it monitors for compromised mods. If anything is just looking a little iffy, this mod will run in the background. If something is to happen where you have a mod that is uh, compromised, uh, a dialogue box will come up where you can report it and hopefully like scan your computer to get rid of it. It is something that came out only a short while ago. And ever since I've definitely been running mod guard in my game to make sure that I'm not using any compromising mods, please always check who you're downloading mods from especially if they're not a known creator you never know what someone has on their computer and what their intentions are so having something that can make me feel a little bit safer is definitely needed in my game next thing is the smarter pie menu by twisted mexi a lot of people ask me how do you just type and have your sims do whatever you type and it is literally what it is if i wanted her to go for a jog i can type jog and whatever function is with that it's gonna it's gonna pop up and it's so helpful because now our menu is so big and of course when you add in mods they add in additional uh menus as well diff, uh, additional buttons and we got so many new categories for things now with the whole uh like the the pie menu update it's just a lot so sometimes you just need to type in one word and see what comes up and that is something that i use all the time going into some graphic mods i do use g shade now it's not a mod but it is definitely a program that adds to the game with g shade and reshade you can add a reshade into your game to enhance the graphics let's be real sims 4 came out in 2014 it's 2024 10 years later graphics are very much needing an upgrade okay and I can't live without my reshade. I just can't. This is how my game looks without reshade. This is regular old Sims 4 with my graphics on whatever. I think my, I think I run my entire thing on ultra. So this is what the game looks like in ultra. And this is what my game looks like with my G shade and my, my reshade. Like girl, it just needs it. I can't explain it. And if you're asking what my reshade is, it is linked in every single video description. I need my reshade. Right now I am using the same reshade I've been using for years at this point. It's the Samimi Preset V2. Here are all of the effects I have on colorfulness, adaptive sharpness, vibrance, SMA, and MA, M, I can never say it, MXAO uh, fix. And I will also, show you i guess the properties people always want to know what the properties are set to feel free to go ahead and pause my screen but this is the settings i have for all of those filters that i mentioned last and certainly not least is why the game is just a little bit crispier and that is sunblind i absolutely love sunblind it is a lighting mod that goes into your actual game files. It is not installed like a mod. It takes a little bit of extra work. There's definitely some tutorials on YouTube on how to install Sunblind into The Sims 4, but you can just see the lighting here just looks so good. I have uh, some other graphic mods, but this lighting mod is definitely something that has just changed overall. And you could just see how the lighting hits the house and it's just so good it looks good it feels good it makes it look very realistic 
and I just love it. If you like this house, girl, it is on my Patreon. So give it a look if you're looking for the perfect family home because it is the cutest thing ever. But really just getting into Sunblind, it just makes the light hitting the house and just like the shadows. It is beautiful. It is absolutely my favorite. One of my favorite parts of the house is this little window seat section over here. It just looks so good at different times of the day. You can see like the light and how it like casts on certain things. Also, I love their backyard because it's kind of shaded and you can definitely see those shadows and things coming into effect. And it's just so good. Sunblind is an amazing lighting mod and it's, it's so good. I just can't praise it enough. Definitely try it if you can. I don't know how it performs on lower end computers, but definitely take a look at it. I'm pretty sure there's tutorials on how to fix things up to make your game look so good. But this is one of the things that I've just been loving. You could just see how the shadows of the trees just cast down and it's just everything. It's so cute. Moving into our food mods right now. I just got D washing her hands because we're about to get with food. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just cheat up her cooking skill because we got some things we need to do. One of my favorite mods that I've been using so much lately is the Granny's Cookbook by Little Bobub. It is literally my favorite food mod ever. The first part of this is the actual cookbook and it's add-ons to get the functions. So with the cookbook, you can see we have meals and different things you can do, but with Granny Cookbook also comes some add-ons that you can add on. The actual book itself is the main part of the mod you need for the recipes to work. So I wanted to list this separately just for you to know that. You need to install Granny's Cookbook before you can add recipes. There are add-ons that come with um, the cookbook add-ons and that is the little tin of recipes as well as the cookbook stand. So these have the same function as the book and you can use these around your kitchen if those fit your decor better. I've been using a variety of the three. I just love them all. I love how they look. They're so cute. Going into my next thing, which is actually the granny cookbook recipes. There are, they're broken down into categories. For instance, if we was to click appetizers, we could have, we can have my Sim make some of these princess party bags. This is something that I've recently been using in a lot of birthday parties. So there's so many different, there's so many recipes that you can download. There's things like gourmet and baking and even grand meals all the way up to barbecuing outside on the grill. You can make things like a barbecue smoke brisket and things like that. The food is looks so good. I love the retextures of the food. Here are like some little princess party bags that I'm going to be using in an upcoming episode with one of my Sims aging up to a kid. We're going to have like these cute little uh party bags there they also have other things like cold drinks hot drinks and other snacks as well as toddler food and one thing that goes really well with the princess party bag is the princess party juice which are like little juice cups that your little sims can have at the birthday party it is the cutest thing i think right now i had her going to cook something on the grill so she's actually about to go all the way across the street to grill something but it is so cute. The food is literally adorable. There's so many things to choose from. So many varieties of food. You have to check it out for yourself. I've pretty much downloaded every single recipe. I believe there's even like a one for all where you can download a majority of the recipes so you can have a little bit of everything in each category. Next thing I want to talk about is Ice Mun Mun's custom food. Another person who I praise all the time for their custom things. I absolutely love custom food in my game. I, I, so I do sometimes use in-game food, but I just love me a good custom meal. Ice Mun Mun makes a variety of food from different backgrounds, countries, ethnicities, things like that. And it's so good to see representation all around. So if you're looking for maybe Jamaican food or Creole food, even Ethiopian, I promise you Ice Mun Mun has tackled it. There's so many things. She has so many food objects that ties all into this. But in order for this to work, it comes with our next mod. In order to use any of Ice Mun Mun food, you have to have the food groups custom food mod. It gives you all of these. So first you'll get the custom food mod with the icon. 
And then it gives you all of these subcategories um, that links with other recipes it, that you can get from Ice Mun Mun. I have a lot of her desserts and her food objects that we'll get into a little bit later. So all of these are linked up. You need custom food by the food group to have Ice Mun Mun's custom food in your game. Which goes into our next mod, which is also custom drinks. It also goes for drink recipes in your game. A lot of people who make custom drinks and things like that will require you to have the food group custom drinks mod. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, read everything because some mods require other mods to work properly. Like I was saying, Ice Mun Mun has a ton of food objects and we're gonna get into a little bit of them that I use today. And that is the air fryer mod. With the air fryer mod, you must have the object and then the recipes in your game. There are other things that Ice Mun Mun has made such as her burger boxes she made that are compatible with things. So one thing I love about Ice Mun Mun is when she make custom recipes, if it makes sense for things to be added into, for instance, an air fryer, she adds them and I love that. So you can see here um, in with the air fryer mod, there are a, a, a number of things that you can cook such as onion rings, churros and things like that. Wings, jumbo shrimp, and it is just really cute. It's another cute appliance to have on your counter. And I love all the custom food that comes with it. This is the original air fryer from Ice Mun Mun. And this one that you see here is a recolor or redesign from around The Sims 4. So once your Sim cooks something, it'll take a little bit for your food to be done. And then you can go ahead and eat. Next up is the pastry mod by Ice Mun Mun. This is one of her recent mods that she just released. I'm using it in my Barbie series and I love it so freaking much that I even created an entire bakery around macaroons. With this mod comes a custom skill, which is the pastry mod. And it gives your sim the opportunity to make pastries. Right now I have Dee making some macaroons. She's making some blue macaroons and it is just for her. Like I said, this comes with its own custom skill. It comes with books and things like that. Ice Mon Mon does not disappoint. I love adding new skills and things to the game. And of course, new ways of making money. Once you progress in this skill, your sim can make boxes of macaroons and you can sell them to bakeries from here at your house or you can open an entire retail store or a bakery like me and sell them there. Uh -huh. Next is the Smoothie Blender by Ice Mun Mun. And again, we have a ton of different swatches you can use for your kitchen and your design. And this adds exactly what it sounds like, a ton of different smoothies. You can even make shakes. I didn't even remember that you can make shakes. Making fruit smoothies, you can see you can do things here. I love how they're ingredients because sometimes if you have your Sims living um, simple life or simple living, you can make them have all of these ingredients in order for these things to work. Again, she'll put the contents in the blender. You'll see things change a little bit and you'll just wait for it to blend up. Again, just another way to add some cute stuff into your game. And that is just about it. This next one here is Ice Mun Mun Soup Maker Mod. I used this a lot in my Runaway Teen Pregnancy Challenge from a couple of years ago. Our teen was struggling and living outside and good old Auntie Joyce gave her a soup maker where she can make her some soup. So with this, you can, of course, make bowls of soup or servings of soup and they come on these cute little black plates with a little slice of bread. Again, I just love having small appliances in my game. I love having new food. I love different things to fit the ambiance of what's going on. Maybe it's like a cold fall day. It's windy, it's rainy out, and maybe you just want to use some potato and leek soup because that's one of my favorite soups ever. Looks like our soup is ready. We can hover over the soup maker and see like the quality and things, normal stuff you will always see. We made us a normal serving and now we can eat as soon as this thing beeps. Continuing with the functional food objects by Ice Mun Mun, here we have the popsicle maker, which is so cute. I've been waiting to use this in my Let's Plays, but it's not summer yet. But basically your Sims can fill this machine with ice and then it can make a bunch of popsicles. Ice Mun Mun made a ton of different popsicle flavors and it's so good. I love that you're able to make one or a serving size of them. And right now let's make us a good old chocolate popsicle. She just grabbed it and can go. There's definitely more to this. There's a ton of different flavors of popsicles. You can even just get some straight out of the fridge 
for everybody to enjoy. So I love that Ice Mun Mun keeps things tied to the stove and fridge if you don't want to have all these appliances all over. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's why having the custom food and custom drinks is very important. Right now, it looks like she's making some watermelon popsicles and it's gonna be a serving girl. Why you use, I hate when they be using stuff when the microwave right now. Last but certainly not least of some of my go-to Ice Mun Mun food objects is this new one that I just put in my game not too long ago. I really wanted to try this out. I haven't had the chance to do so yet, but I'm familiar with the recipes. This is a one pot. It's kind of like a crock pot where you can make an entire meal. Um, there's so many different types of stews and soups and stuff that your Sims can make. And it's just really good. I think she even has like oatmeal and stuff in here. Yeah, there's so much stuff you can make. So let's make us some beef stew, I guess. So again, she puts the contents in there and we'll wait for everything to just progress. And then you can eat. And of course the little lid comes on there. It's so cute. I love it. I believe some people have made like recolors of this or even like actual crock pots. But I love the bowls. I love how rustic everything looks. And again, y'all know I love me some custom food in my game. Cannot wait to use this in future series. I think this is gonna be easy. You could just throw everything into the pot and you got something to eat. Moving on with more food mods in my game. One that I've been using a lot is the Somic and Severinka's Healthy Food Delivery. You can come here on your home tab of your phone and you can order healthy food a lot of different foods to choose from and a lot of different varieties there's even something like a hello fresh box where you have meals that are already prepared for you it works similarly as the regular delivery in the game and the good thing about all of these healthy meals is that some of them help you gain your sims gain muscle and some of them help your sims lose calories or lower their lower in calories will make your sims lose body fat it's super cool to see like things like this. This is what I was talking about. These are your boxes. You can click this box. You can buy this box and expect to have three meals and I believe a smoothie. And I believe there are certain things like you can do dietary restrictions. I believe there is something for uh, pretty much everyone. If your Sims is vegetarian or even lactose intolerant, there is something here for everyone and everything is, is said in the description. And the food looks so good. So your Sim will put the delivery in and the food will arrive with a courier in its own cute little bag. And then we can unpack it and see what it looks like. Looks like our person is here now with our food. We'll go ahead and accept delivery and I'll show you guys what's in the box. All right, we went ahead and unpacked the food. I believe the food is, yes, in her inventory. As you can see, it shows you everything that's in the box. Um, so the balanced nutri nutrition program specifically designed for comfortable weight loss. So your Sims technically doesn't have, they don't have to do any working out or things like that. But if they do, I believe it helps them even more. For breakfast, we have an omelet with vegetables and grilled zucchini. Lunch, we have grilled tilapia and steamed vegetables. And dinner, we have a Greek salad. Snack, we have smoothies with raspberry or a raspberry smoothie. I'm going to open everything. I just want to show you how all this food looks. It looks really good. It looks delicious. Like, come on. Literally, that food looks so good. Like, ooh, let's be for real. I love this for my Sims. I have two series right now where I have mamas who just had babies and we're trying to get the baby weight off. And this mod has come in handy so much. Another thing we have from, from Somic and Severinka is the functional alcohol. There's a number of beer and alcohol bottles that you can purchase straight from your fridge or even at the bar. We'll get into that in just a second. We can go here and we can purchase alcohol and there's different types of beer and six packs and champagnes and martinis and things we can get into and your Sims can indulge right from their house. Let's get us some Chardonnay girl. I know that's right. So your Sim will just pull out a bottle of wine and serve them up a glass. I think they may even can drink straight from the bottle. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not sure. But uh, you can call people through. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of the wine from the game. But you can grab you a drink from this bottle. Everybody will grab them a little glass. Girl, you haven't had a glass of wine in so long. Maybe you should get you some of this. The next mod is to order at the bar. All of these drinks that you see um, here in this buy menu for all of the alcohol, you can order these drinks at the bar. And I believe Sims will autonomously order these drinks as well. 
So they could order something in the game or they can order something like this. So you would have to have the functioning alcohol and then the additional mod is the order at the bar. And I just love that your Sims will be able to order real life drinks in game. Next, I wanna talk about Insemnia custom food. I just realized like looking at this list, I have a ton. <laughs> I have a ton of food mods in my game. Um, Insemnia's custom foods and stalls. So you can see there is real life food from real life restaurants that you can have in the game. And one of my favorites, absolute favorite is the Chipotle one. I even built an entire build around this when high school years came out as a hangout because when I was in high school, Chipotle was our hangout. We was always there, girl. So you can see there's real life Chipotle food that you can order. Um, for your Sims, it'll all be delivered exactly how we just saw. It comes in a cute little Insemnia Eats bag, and it is just the cutest thing. I absolutely love it, and I love the realism. I love that your Sims can just order this up from Insemnia Eats and have them some food in no time. While my Sim goes ahead and order them some dinner, like there's not a whole bunch of food around in this house, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the custom stalls that also comes um, with an addition to the food and the recipes. I'm not sure if all of the custom food comes with stalls. They may, some may and some may not. I'm not a 100% sure on that, but here is the Chipotle one. Of course, we can hire a vendor. They'll show up and um, just like any other stall, you'll be able to come here and order the specific things we just saw in the menu. So I absolutely love this. I love when I don't feel like cooking or anything like that. We could just order Insemnia Eats and I love that it's realistic to Uber Eats. Again, there is a custom bag just like there was for the healthy food one. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it cause you know, sometimes it takes a little minute. Let me speed up a little bit and see because it is getting later on in the evening and oh, here we go. Hold on, here we go, here we go. I know it's a little dark, bear with me, but here's the Insemnia Eats. It's so cute, I love the bag. I love the custom bags, like come on, details? You can just order the food that you have in game. And as you can see, I have quite a bit. Just some of the options, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Cold Stone, IHOP, In-N-Out, Insomnia Cookies, Krispy Kremes. There's so many more. I think there's like Olive Garden. Yeah, there's so much more. Panda Express, Popeyes, and the list goes on and on. And as long as you have these recipes and stalls in your game, you can order them in Insemnia Eats. Just make sure Insemnia Eats plus the food and everything else is all up to date. Next, I wanna show you Insemnia's Infant Food Override. Now, this is the cutest thing ever. I don't even remember what they gave us in the beginning. I think it was like mush peas, bananas. There's a lot that they offer, but I just love seeing real life things again in the game. So I'm gonna have Baby Denver try some Gerber Mango Baby Meal. And it tells you what's in it and things like that. It also gives you the same thing you would do in regular game if, if the babies like it or if they're unsure about it or if they absolutely love it. So we're gonna see him eat some Gerber food in his high chair. And here we go, Baby Denver is trying him some Gerber and you can see the little jar in her hand. Absolutely love this. It's so freaking cute. And I even think he liked it in his little stroller. Oh, now me saying he liked it and he hated it. Oh no, Denver dislikes Gerber. <laughs> he didn't like the mango. He tried his first food, but we also find out he's a picky eater child. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Last but not least, I wanna talk about my food retextures. Not all of my food is retexture, but some of my in-game food is, and they're all by Apricot Rush. I can show you some of the before and afters that they have linked on their page, and it is crazy <laughs> to know that that's what our food looked like before, but these retextures are so cute. As soon as I saw them, I added them into my game immediately. There's so, when it comes to in-game overrides and retextures, y'all, there's a different world out there. We'll hit on it a little bit later, but I do have, majority of these food retextures in my game. Next, we're gonna get into the romance and relationship mod. And I'm gonna use Journey and H for this as they are in love. First, one of the biggest mods, Wonderful Whims. Wonderful Whims is right up there with MC Command. It is another command center and is centered around 
your relationship and the romance of your sims down to woohoo settings pregnancy settings relationships body settings and more this is the mod that i use for my sims to have a menstrual cycle and fertility and things like that and you can toggle all of these things to your likings your sims can even catch look something something if they sleep with too many people your sims will sweat after they work out or after they woohooed you can set up your whole attractiveness settings and personality settings as well this is something i use all the time in my series to see if my sims are attracted to other sims if they want to pursue some type of relationship and things like that there's so much that goes into this and this mod is definitely something that is very needed in my game um you can have different types of birth controls and menstrual cycle settings and everything it is definitely what you want if you're it is basically wicked whims without the wicked okay it is very youtube safe and this is something that i've switched to a long time ago when it became available because wicked whims was just too much on youtube and twitch and it was just a lot of editing and censoring and i didn't have time for it i mainly wanted these options and i'm so happy wonderful whims became a thing because this is just perfect for my gameplay style again it is just a hub of things you can set things up you can save it to a profile and even use them in different saves so a lot goes into wonderful whims it's definitely something you should read up on to see if it's something you want in your game you cannot have wonderful whims and wicked whims in your game at the same time as in wicked whims has a majority of all these settings already if not all of them next mod i definitely have to bring up and it is a no-brainer when it comes to relationship it is the rpo mod by lumpano it is the relationship and pregnancy overhaul the next mod needs no introduction it is the rpo mod by lumpano it's the relationship and pregnancy overhaul it used to be called woohoo wellness so if that's what if you remember woohoo wellness a couple i think a year or two ago since the name's been changed it is a crazy mod. I can't even get into how in-depth this mod is and how much it has added to my gameplay. This mod has 19 modules and they are constantly being updated and more modules are always being added. And I'm just gonna go through the list of things you can do with this mod alone. Pregnancy and family preferences, fertility and protection, woohoo transmissible diseases, paternity testing, teen pregnancy stuff, Temporary separation, jealousy and cheating and infidelity, artificial insemination and surrogacy, adoption, custody and permanent separations, things of your liking, pregnancy side effects, miscarriage and pregnancy loss, pregnancy tweaks and special pregnancies, romances and friendships, the meet and mingle dating app, charm and chemistry attraction system, expanded woohoo and adult life. This mod adds everything i just listed and then some i used this mod at the beginning of this series our journey where ace was not particularly ready to be a father he was very frightened for it especially with his career and he did not want children but of course journey was pregnant so they went through a separation we got to see a lot of them like repair the relationship with it and eventually i personally made him accept the pregnancy and they became they got together and became a family grew their family and all that kind of stuff but there's so much you can do with this mod you can talk about filing adoption together you can put your kids up for adoption um there's insemination and surrogacy there's all different types of things with being pregnant how you feel about having children how you feel about being pregnant um and now the one of the newest things is expressing the gender that you wish for that you can have if you're pregnant your overall woohoo health and making sure you're protected and safe romances and friendships you can set all kinds of different things turn ons and turn offs and not to develop certain things you can decide to be celibate you can just really dive into a deep relationship within families and romantic relationships there is so much that goes into this mod it is honestly crazy of course you can come into the actions menu and set different type of settings and this is where you can really customize to what you would like to see birth control is a new thing that you can get now 
um, your Sims can get UTI and yeast infections. There's different type of pregnancies and pregnancy settings as well. There's an entire chemistry system you can go through. Um, you can, your Sims could self woohoo if you want them to, and you can set your woohoo styles and your roles. And then you can even get down to your woohoo drive. So your Sims, how frequently they would love to wrestle and things like that. So there's so many different things in this. Um, it comes with a lot of different like traits, like neutra about having children is one of the things I'm okay with being pregnant. I'm not okay with being pregnant. These things even uh, go for children as well. I can have Journey here. Um, she'll have the same icon, relationship, pregnancy, and family. And we can talk about like if Aspen wants siblings and things like that. So it's very in-depth when you're pregnant, you can talk about your concerns about pregnancy. And it's so many different aspects of this mod. This mod has grown so much and Lumpino's mind is just insane. And I just love seeing everything intertwine with each other like a big machine. Definitely make sure you read up on RPO when you're installing it. There are mod, you can get rid of modules. You can have all the modules. I personally don't have all of them. So definitely read up on each module and see which one is for you and which one is not. Another one of my cutesy little mods is by Maple Bell. It is the more kisses mod. It's so cute. I think it is under flirtation and then you can go, is it? No, it's under physical intimacy and you can just hit this more kisses. And there's a ton of new little detailed and cute kisses that your Sims can share. And it's really good. Honestly, I wish this was out back when we were doing machinimas because do you know how many animations and stuff you have to have when you're just looking for that right moment and for these like smooth animations to be in the game? It's just so good. And I really wish it was out when I was doing my machinimas heavy. They're so cute. So many different options for your Sims to choose from. It is just the cutest thing. And it's so intimate. Like y'all come on, do your thing. They could do a hesitation in a kiss and the animations are just so smooth. Look at this, a grabbing kiss. It's like, no, don't go. I love you. Hear me out. Look at them. That's so cute. Like, man, I would have went. Do y'all know how many animations I would have went through to just find that? I really wish this was out. <laughs> But it is so cute and it can be from either or. Um, and it's just the cutest thing ever. Another one of my relationship mods is by Utopia. I think it's pronounced Utopia though. Um, it's the kiss and grind mod. I think this is the one that we see a lot of my Sims do autonomously. Um, you can have like a passionate makeout or intimate slow dance. Um, and again, it's just more interaction, smooth animations, and it's so cute. And I love that my Sims autonomously do this sometimes. I don't even, I don't click on nothing. They just do it themselves. It's just good to see your Sims in love and just have a refresh of animations. Like I said, the game been out since 2014. So it's so cute to see new stuff and it's refreshing and it's so cute. I just love to look at she like, um, is y'all gonna feed me? This is a mod video, baby. This is not your save file. This is just a mod video. Another one of Utopia's mods is the Passionate Gift mod. And this it, this mod is really cute and it's very good for storytelling. Under Romance, you can go to Passionate Gifts and you can gift your loved one a fancy special little thing. So I'm gonna give her a heart necklace that's gonna cost us $950. And again, there's a whole animation with this. I just love it. We'll see the entire animation here. I'm just gonna let it play out. She's like, I got you a little gift. She's gonna open it and see the necklace. He picks it up out like, God, he picks it up out the box. Puts it around her neck and it's just so cute. They share a little kiss and it's just the cutest thing. Of course, that $950 will come out of the household funds and it's just a cute little way. I think there's even a mood lit if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check after this animation is over. Yes, there is golden surprise. Whoa, such a beautiful surprise. Alex really loves it. Who's Alex? 
she feels quite lucky to have such a partner so it's just cute i don't know who alex is but maybe that's like a little typo or something um but it is super cute to just see and have your sims do it i don't think they do it autonomously which is good because i don't got time in my racks to riches for willie to be giving away a 2500 hundred dollar watch you know another mod i recently just came across was the sims 3 romance now this is very new to me but oh my gosh I, it deserves a shout out just because it's so many things and it's a lot of the things that we had in sims 3 that's now been added into the sims 4. so i'm gonna do a little cry on ace so it's just like a, a ton of sims 3 um interactions and they're really really cute we're gonna go ahead and look at one of these animations so she's just gonna cry on him of course this is perfect for storytelling with shinemas all those kinds of things and i just love it different things like gazing into the eye so a lot of the interactions you're you're familiar with with the sims 3 has just now been added into the game and who doesn't like a little bit of extra romance let's see what this rebound kiss is because like i said this is new to me but once i saw all of everything i was like there's no way that i cannot feature this it's so good i think that's like isn't that like the first kiss in sims 3 it's so cute it's so many cute little things so i definitely wanted to include it because like i said i love interactions i love just something fresh in the game another romance mod in my game right now is by sepsid it is the romance interaction edition this adds five more animations um from the sims 3 and one of them is like the sims 3 little make out and it's i think it's a lot to do like on the sofa and things like that so we're gonna see what that's all about so this is similar. This is what they would do in Sims 3. They would just make out. I just love seeing stuff from <laughs> older games back in this game. So that's what this one is. Another thing that you can do with this is sofa cuddle, sofa kiss, serenade, and pretend exchange ring. The next one of my cute little romance mods is literally called Cute Romance from the Pancake One in Missouri Yuki. This gives us a couple of things that we've seen in my series. Um, you can do slow dancing, a dip kiss, intense kiss, bed makeout, cuddle from behind, and a table proposal, which is the cutest thing. We're gonna do the cuddle behind um, interaction here. So again, this is something my Sims just autonomously do as well, but of course I'm showing you for the video, but he could just come up and cuddle her from behind is super cute another feature from this mod is the bed make out and it's really cute which you know some you know how things be sometimes but it's adorable and it's super g-rated <laughs> but just like a, a little a little loving you know i think they're fine the tube is strict sometimes so you have to be a little mindful but right now i'm gonna try to see if we can do the taper proposal it is a very cute animation. These two aren't married or anything, so it should go smoothly. We're gonna do propose at table and we get to see the entire animation. Oh, there's a lot of sound. Ace is proposing. So I see a lot of people use this like when they're out to dinner. She gets a ring. Okay, D, please. She's excited. And it's just cute. Oh, they, they're gonna get them something to eat. Okay, they just eating party bags. All right, so I guess they're engaged. <laughs> Last thing in my romance and relationship mod section is the gender preference randomizer tool by Carl. Basically, when gender preferences came out in a base game update, this is a way you can literally randomly assign gender preferences to your population without having to touch every single sim in your save file it won't affect played sims i believe but it will be for all other npcs that's not in your my saved games folder with test and cheats on of course you would put in this command here carl.random prefs the mod is pretty straightforward. All the information is on the page. It'll automatically assign a percentage of gender preferences to other Sims. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff here. The game has randomly went ahead and assigned stuff. And now when your Sims go for people, maybe they're not their type. Maybe they're not what they go for. And it is random. Not everyone has the same interest. So it still gives you variety in your gameplay. 
Moving on to pregnancy mods. There's three in here, but they're a very important three. The biggest one I have to talk about without any question is the realistic pregnancy mod by Pandasama. It is a crazy mod. So I've gone ahead and had my sim just start a pregnancy and this gives us the pregnant state pregnancy test animation okay we don't have time <laughs> it gives us the take pregnancy test um interaction or animation i use this all the time with my sims after your sims woohoo uh there's a chance you know your sims can be pregnant and this is the animation that comes with the mod where they will actually go ahead and pee on the pregnancy test and you will just await their reaction and they can see if they're pregnant or not and sis is pregnant how d i'm sorry i had to do some stuff for the <laughs> i'm sorry i had to do some stuff for the mods video <laughs> she like uh oh -uh, this not it this not it okay i'm sorry so it looks like uh d did not want any kids right now and she's not very happy about her pregnancy but with realistic pregnancy there are so many things that come with this mod not only can you do hospital births you can do home births pregnancy checkup pregnancy checkups this also enables lactation weaning your toddlers from being breastfed and also the new gender reveal party there's so much into this mod i've used it countless times i know there's so many creators who use this mod as well um for the video's sake i will just show you um some brief things that you can do now that my sim is pregnant she can call her obstetrician since she found she found out she's pregnant she's not really happy about it i am very sorry i'm trying to like you know i'm trying to do a mod showcase here d i need you to try to be a trooper with this comes birthing options and birthing plans and how you want to do things. You can arrange how you want your birth to go. If you wanted to do the regular surgery machine that comes in the game, you can do that. You can do a natural birth with animations of you uh, pushing and your Sims actually delivering the baby. The animations are very detailed, very realistic. Um, you can also get a C-section. You can say you want to do a home birth. You can even go and do pregnancy checkups where they will do blood work and um, you can even get like your ultrasound scan to find out the gender or the amount of babies that you're having. There is so much to this mod. I can't even go into it. It is a lot. Everything has custom animations. It has up from one baby to three babies. There is water births. You can have, uh, you could do a home birth in the bed. You can do a home birth in the baby pool. The C-section animation is actually a doctor. You can see like slicing into the sim and delivering the baby. It is so good. And it is a very well put together mod. And I can't praise this mod enough. It is so, it will always remain in my folder. I can never imagine doing regular sim birth ever again because this mod just deserves all its flowers and all the praise. So I'm just going to say I want my girl to have a home birth and it gives you, you know, all of the pop ups and everything. We're just going to say we want to choose this option and I can down the line change that up. I can add Sims to a company to the birth, maybe a friend or even a loved one. I can also change my mind if I don't want to do that birth and plan anymore. I can go get ultrasounds. I can get blood work. There's so many more additions that's coming to this mod and there's so many updates to come. One thing I would really love from this mod and I talk about it a lot is a milk mini fridge. This also is the way that your Sim is able to pump. I get that question a lot in a lot of my series. I have a breast pump here. Once your Sim delivers the baby, your sim will automatically start lactating depending on i believe preferences and things like that uh pumping is something that comes with it i definitely think you can disable it if you, if there's some things you're just not wanting in your game and you really don't want to deal with it i can do childbirth settings and you can turn off and turn on all of these things you can wear your own clothes you can have woohoo induced labor you can have stretch marks and scarring 
um, you can remove dilation because yes, when you go to the hospital, if you're doing a natural birth or if you're a home birth, you're trying to dilate to 10 centimeters. Like I said, very realistic. You could disable lactation if that's not for you. You can even turn off the weight gain after birth and things like that. There, like I said, there's a birthing emergencies where if you were having a home birth and you were having multiples, there's a chance that something can go wrong and you need to go to the hospital. This mod is very well tuned and it will always remain in my mods folder. I love this mod so much. Definitely recommend it just for just pregnancy gameplay overall. Another mod by Lumpano under the pregnancy mods is the Science Baby Pregnancy or Instant. So when Growing Together came out, you could go and have a science baby, but you would like just leave the lot, come back with a baby. I wanted something where if you wanted to just go to a bank and get some stuff to have a baby, you could do that. I'm gonna click for my sim to have a baby with Ace. And I think I will get a prompt that will say, do you want to carry the baby or would you just like to go and pick up a child? Okay, uh, Journey will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her and Ace's genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready for a newborn in the household? And then here's the question for science. Would you like to have a pregnancy if possible or would you like an instant baby? And we would choose the pregnancy. So I do love that um, that's a feature, especially if you was doing it as a single parent and you just wanted to go to the, the S bank, get your stuff and have your own family without needing or having a partner. Congratulations, Journey is expecting. There's gonna be a new addition to the household. So now Journey and D are pregnant. Look at this, just the household pregnant women. Ace, I'm praying for you. <laughs> Last thing in my pregnancy mods category is pregnancy books by Kiera Sims. Your Sims can purchase books and I was thinking of it like what to expect when you're expecting. There's three volumes, the first and second, third trimester. You can have all those, you can read them as your Sim progress through their pregnancy. It's just another sense of realism. I do believe your Sims gain parenting skills from reading these books. And I think just like a little bit of reassurance that they're doing a good thing and they're researching before the baby gets there. So I love this. I use this in this series and it was very cute. Um, and again, it just adds gameplay and y'all know that's what we're all about here is more gameplay. Okay, I would say we're over halfway through. We do have three more categories of mods to go through. I told you guys it was gonna be a lot. So thank you for sticking with me. D was mad at me because I got her pregnant. So I had to switch to our other Sim, Crystal. <laughs> Next up is Base Mental Drugs. Absolutely love this mod. I know it is not new, but it always adds a ton of gameplay to the game. This mod adds a ton of real things into the game along with some health concerns that can come with them. There is gambling now that's been added, a beer crafting that's come with Horse Ranch. You can now craft um, your own wine and stuff. I think beer crafting is actually what Eco Living with the juice fizzer machine. There's different milestones and things like that. You can also have police and things get involved. There's a whole bunch of new things you can test out. Um, once your Sims go ahead and assign NPCs such as dealers, shamans, bouncers, and police officers, you can go to those respective Sims for those respective things. Versus like a dealer, you can go, you can purchase things for your Sims to use. Your Sims can even inquire about starting to deal themselves, growing and creating their own stuff and creating a whole little empire. When it comes to bouncers, there is a lot trait that you can use on certain venues, such as like nightclubs, lounges, bars, things like that. The lot type is called bouncer and it'll basically add a bouncer to the lot. And um, if there's any craziness that's going down, drug related or even teens trying to sneak to a bar with a fake ID, the bouncer will catch it. So it again, adds a ton of gameplay, a lot of realism, um, you know, of the adult variety to your game. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Everybody I know uses the mod. So I know it is definitely not new, but so much stuff has been added, like the gambling, which is really crazy. 
The next mod I want to talk about is Dying Out Reloaded. I absolutely love this mod. It adds a complete overhaul and quality of life to the Dying Out pack from The Sims 4. This mod is just crazy. Not only can you run your own restaurant like you could before, but now you can play as the chef. There's so many things that interlock with this and a lot of things that we can go ahead and check out. I'm here at the Cranky Crab, one of my favorite restaurants I've ever created in a past a series. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the dine out settings. One thing that's been added to the game that I have not tested and tried out yet, but I cannot wait is entry fees. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I've been begging modders to create some type of entry fee where you can own something and charge people for being there. And it sounds like now you can. It sounds like you can open your own bar. It adds a ton of different settings, expanding how many people come to the restaurant, how many groups come, delivery orders, having diners walking up and ordering themselves to even picking up the food off the counter if you want them to. There's also this new thing where diners can order appetizers, main courses, and desserts. So now the menu is actually useful. You can do farm to table where your Sims grow their own produce and use them in their restaurants. Your host can walk guests to their seats or not, or guests can just seat themselves. We even can have guests place their own orders, which makes the possibilities for this endless. You can make a food truck. You can make a fast food joint where they walk up to the counter, order their food, and then come and get their food. People can just walk into your restaurant, order a pickup order and just leave and you're making profit. You can also play as a chef, which was one of the biggest things we always wanted. You can play as a chef and your waiters can take orders and deliver food as usual. And there's just so many things that you can do with this mod alone. Again, with the new update of being able to have basically like running your own bar, I haven't even gotten into that yet, but there's just so many things you can do. So here at this restaurant that we had in a, another series, we had uh, the dad who was a chef. He turned, he first was a fisherman and turned into a seafood chef, opened his own seafood restaurant. And you can see people can come in here and eat. And it was very lively. And we had custom food made by QMBB. And it was just such a fun time. You can see here on the wall when we start to get orders, the orders will appear here so you can always see. And it's just a huge quality of life change for the dine out pack. If you like restaurants or if your restaurants are buggy and they just have not worked for you, I highly recommend downloading Dine Out Reloaded and definitely read the description and check out all of the new settings and features you can do with this new addition in your game. Next mod I want to talk about is the Retail Reloaded by Carl. And it again, it's another thing I must have in my game. If you know me, you know I love me a good retail store. I love me a good little thing that my Sims can do to make them some money. It's just my favorite way to play the game. We're here at Yaz, which was the retail store I made when I in my Horse Ranch series. It was so much freaking fun. Basically all of our winery and goods that we made from our garden and farm and all that kind of stuff. We use them in this shop. Any of the builds that you've seen here, like our journeys house, crafty crab, or even Yaz shop are all available on my Patreon. All of my builds are always there for early access and then available to everyone. If you would like to support me, feel free to do so. I really would appreciate it. And you could just get your hands on some of my builds. So again, this was Gaz's shop and Retail Reloaded came in handy big time with this. There's so many different things that helps with quality of life, making sure your employees show up and just different things like that. It's definitely something you have to read up on when you download the mod. There's so many things that is added to this. And I think one of the biggest things is customers lining up at the register. I always thought it was really weird that they gave us registers would get to work, but you never use them for people to ring people up. Now with Retail Reloaded, Sims who are ready to buy will start to line up in front of your cash register. And there will be like a little queue as people start to line up and you can have employees or your Sim uh, check them out. This is the next mod that I've been wanting to showcase that goes really well with Retail Reloaded. And it is the bags when purchased by Subset. This is something I remember with Sims 2. After they purchase something, they will always have like the little bag in their hand 
And it's just a detail that I miss so much. It's always the little details. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Journey for this next mod. Next mod is gonna be SMB Bank. It is one of my favorite mods. I've been looking for features from this mod for such a long time. And I use this in quite a bit of my Let's Plays. So SMB Bank is basically a personal bank system for each of your Sims. They can have their own account. And another thing is they can even have their own card. So Journey here has $11,123 in her bank account. And she, I even had her go ahead and get a debit card. If you're to click use on this card, anything that you purchase in the house will come from this account. And it's something that I really like for roommates or just like maybe like you have a, a new teenager who wants to save up money for whatever. You can have them have an account and all the money that they spend comes from their debit card. So for instance, if I was to come in here and say I wanted Journey to make a sack lunch, which are like $3, I'm going to have her come over here and do that. And the money should come directly out of her account. Yes, it says you have made a new payment $3 towards the interactions. It comes with an app that goes onto your cell phone and you can manage accounts. I've used this in several instances where parents had different savings accounts for different children. So when they go off to school, they'll have their own personal money. You can open a new account. As you can see, this mod does come with like custom music with it, but I'm just gonna kind of show you guys things. You can do a check-ins or a savings. And let's say we're gonna do a check-ins account. You can even update it so you'll get higher interest rates every week. Um, so it just costs a little bit of money. Um, you can also share account with other Sims who can also access and things like that. Um, but we just making this for her and you can name it, you use the descriptions and things like that. You can set how much money you want in it. And that's pretty much it. Another feature was this with this is you can also transfer money so we can transfer money from the house or journeys money to any other person who also have um, SMB bank. So if I wanted to send it to some friends or some people I know I can send like, for instance, I can send Nancy or her household funds like 100 bucks and just go through with that and we'll submit it. And it's just simple as that. I'm not sure if you can request money, but I don't know if that's going to be a feature that comes to it or not, but that will also be something that's really, really cool. Next up is another mod uh, called Healthcare Redo. I've been using this mod for quite a bit, and this just gives a complete overhaul to health in the game and just different um, illnesses and diseases that your Sims can have. Um, for instance, there are different things that you can do here. You can even get health insurance where you'll pay a premium or something every month, uh, something like that. But I've been using this quite a bit. And in my Barbie series, we had Kenny who kind of indulged a little bit in a lot of sweets for a whole day and it ended up giving him the sugars. So it is realistic in a source. Like there are definitely some realistic, um, realistic things you could do. But one of the main things is you can go to the doctor. You can go for a wellness visit. If you get hurt or things like that, you can also do that as well. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and send her off to the gynecologist. Just other instances of this mod is that when I was playtesting my Barbie series uh, a while back, one of my infants, I believe, either my infants or my toddlers, they, I got a notification saying, hey, you know, so-and-so's head is shaped a little weird or you're noticing like some kind of bruise or something like that. Maybe we should take them to the doctor. And it turns out that the baby needed like a little helmet and things like that. So if your Sim is to become sick or um, has allergies or needs some type of medication, there is medication that comes with this mod that your Sims can order and use. Um, for instance, Kenny has to take his insulin about once or twice a day. So that's something. It just gives a complete overhaul to um, the whole illness and sickness um, system that's already in The Sims 4 and just make it a little bit more realistic. Next mod I wanna talk about is random text. So for a while I noticed that I wasn't really getting a whole bunch of random texts from uh, just friends and things like that. This mod by Kuto definitely adds a lot more random things. We get scam calls now where you can actually like lose money. 
you get a lot of random texts like, hey, the next time you're in town, maybe you can vote for your senator, things like that. So it just adds a little bit more realism to the game. And the next mod that goes with that as well is random text restored NPC invites. I didn't have NPC invites for such a long time. I don't know if maybe like with all the packs installed or if I had other mods that kind of blocked it, but this was a bug in the game for a while. So this mod actually fixes that. So you get even more text messages from maybe friends or something like, hey, you wanna go out to lunch? Like I haven't gotten a, a invitation to go out to a restaurant in such a long time. So that mod random text restores definitely helps with those text messages popping up again. Next mod I wanna talk to you about is the brawling mod. This mod adds a couple of animations in, in the mean category under brawling, where if you need to get some frustrations out, girl, ain't no thing, you know, it ain't nothing to it, you know? So I could just have this random girl come over here. <laughs> you could just punch her. I don't know. Sometimes when people make you mad, you just want to take your frustrations out. And you could do all of these things and there's some animations with this. <laughs> I don't know. I just like stuff like this, you know, if you ever wanted to do it. But it even gets a little crazy. I definitely use this in JC101. Oh, she kicked us back. She kicked us back. Wait a second, I didn't know they could do it back. Okay, wait, girl. Ah, uh -uh, we not done. See, now this is making me mad. With this brawling mod, there's more to it as well. You can even get on top of somebody and fight them because I'm tired of this. And I'm tired of your mess. Sometimes you just gotta let some people know, you know? All right, I brought my Sim out to a bar so she can meet someone new for this next mod. And we need to go ahead and just kind of introduce ourselves and we will do a friendly introduction. The next mod I wanna talk about is first impressions. It is something I use quite a bit in my game just to determine, do my Sam like this person they just encountered, they just met? So Crystal thinks this lady named Blossom is in a dreamland, okay? This sentiment is it's a sentiment of dislike. Um, this sim appears a little bit in their own bubble of imagination, a dreamland of sorts. And then meanwhile, Blossom's like, I think she loves our earth. <laughs> so it says the sims appear to truly care about their impact on the world and the well-being of everyone and everything on the planet. It's heartwarming. So just two different things. I use this a lot to see if people are going to pursue people, whether it's platonic or romantic kind of relationship. And it's just really fun. There's a ton of different sentiments and over time they'll go away. Um, but it's just something that I love in my game. So you can just kind of get a feel for how your Sims feel about someone else. I do believe it's based off of traits and interests and things like that. So it shouldn't be too random, but it definitely adds more gameplay to everything. Next mod I want to go into is called Milestones Expanded. This just adds a ton more milestones to your game. Going further into things, it says the mod adds over 50 custom milestones to the game. It further develops the game behavior of some EA milestones. There's things about places, for instance, where you were born or if parents are to separate. They also add moodlets and social bunny posts that you can add on with these custom milestones. And of course, um, you can add on things about it could be, you know, about new relationships or if you woohoo with someone, even things from certain packs and things like that. Crystal here is a brand new sim, so she doesn't really have any milestones. The only one she has right now is to get a job. You started a new job. So that's just something to think about if you want more um, milestones in your game. It is very nice to see, like, I always see like infants getting milestones and stuff like that. But it's nice to see your other sims progressing and um, adding more gameplay and just realism to the game. Next mod we can go into is Curious Inquiries. This is something that I really, really like when you're just trying to get to know more about Sims and their moods and things like that. Sometimes you see Sims just like walking around town. They're sad, they're angry, they're dazed, and you kind of just want to know a little bit more. You could do that with Curious Inquiries. You could ask them about their mood. You even can ask them more personal things about themselves. Uh, asking about their orientation and gender elements. You can ask about them in general, their family, their household. So if I was interested in knowing like, hey, do you have kids? Anything like that? I'm just curious. You can do all of those things. Find out more about the Sim um, without being surprised about things. So it says, oh, I'm feeling confident. And it will tell you exactly why. So it's the, it's the mood that they're in and then why they're in that mood. And I think it's the first 
the first um uh, moodlet that they'll have um so asking about our family so sure i could tell you about my family i am married i have uh i have one child one child one children <laughs> I have one child and their name is Knox. So it just gives you way more information about the Sim than what you would have maybe from the Sim profile menu and all of the things like milestones, woohoo history, anything that's linked, I, uh, I believe will all come through this. But we can ask about her in general and get a little bit more insight. We can view it in a window. So, I, oh, I didn't even know you could do this. But it's like, you can look and see who's actually in her family and things like that. So she's just talking to this lady in general, like, girl, tell me everything. And again, we can see all of these things. We can see her traits. You can see what her likes and her dislikes are, even down to if you left-handed or right-handed. So um, just again, it's something that I love. I love having more information. This could give you insight on whether or not you want to be friends with this person, if you can trust this person, if they are going to live up to your expectations. So you curious, you nosy, baby, this is the mod for you. The next mod I'm going to talk to you about, it has to do with your sins that are lactose intolerant and journey very much is. As you can see, I got her eating some mac and cheese. She realized it wasn't worth it, girl. Her stomach is bubbling, things is gurgling. She got the bubble guts. And this basically makes it so... Um, if they were to have an accident, like something like this, she really has to plead low bladder. She's bloated again. Um, I'm just going to have her just kind of miss, miss going to the bathroom a little bit so y'all can see. But basically what it did was eating that really upset her stomach. And I really don't want her to go to the bathroom. So I'm just going to kind of down it a little bit. She's going to have a bladder failure. But because it's dealing with her lactose situation, it's actually poop. <laughs> So it just makes it so, you know, their stomach is gurgling, got the bubble guts. Like that stuff just did not agree with me. And if your sim does not make it to the bathroom, instead of it just being like a little water puddle, you also get some poop too. So I know it seems small, but it is hilarious to me. And this has actually happened to Journey quite a bit. I think when she was pregnant. So let me get her to clean this up. All right, next mod I want to talk to you about. I get comments on a lot. Is Sims can wipe after they use the bathroom, just a little bit more hygienic. They'll wipe, you know, do their thing and wash their hands right after that. Hopefully, sis got to wash her hands. Okay, yes. I had her take a little shower, but she is embarrassed. I mean, that was a little bit embarrassing. It was embarrassing. To make up for things, I'm gonna have my girl open a present, getting us to our next mod, which is better presents. Basically, this just makes it so your Sims get things that are related to them, their age group and things like that. So we don't have like an infant opening up an entire future cube that they can't use or anything like that. It just give them new things. So it says here, Journey got two $100 Visa gift cards and she could just click on them and redeem them for money. I'm gonna have Ace and Journey open up some more gifts just to see what they get. I believe kids also get toys as well. So if y'all just, oh, I had them up. Can y'all open presents together? Let's just see what everyone gets. The gift cards is very cute though and very realistic because I used to just get them hands down. It was the best time. Remember shuffling your little gift card? Like, girl, you was everything with them gift cards. One mod I use quite a bit is greetings. This is a new mod for me and I got it because I just liked having the ability to see these animations out of things you wouldn't normally see. Um, but one thing that is really good for is actually talking to celebrities. You can talk to a celebrity using these greetings and it'll give you enough uh, like friendship points that you can get to know them further and even potentially gain some fame from knowing a celebrity. So we could do things here like a high five. And this is just, again, something that maybe mostly for like machinimas and stuff, but you know, sometimes if you just want a little something different, you don't want to do your basic <laughs> introduction and things like that. You can do these cute little greetings. So we have the little high five and the salute as well. And I don't know, y'all know me. I just love things like that. I'm gonna cheat up Journey Celebrity Rank to being a level three celebrity. The next mod I wanna talk about is the celebrity system. This basically gives the ability for some crazy stuff to be happening in the media for celebrities. You can paparazzi basically interfere with your celebrity sims lives. 
people can accuse you of positive things the negative things and you can even sue for slander if you win the case you can also bring in a ton of money now we just had journey use her you know use the bathroom on herself which is something that you can be kind of like publicly shamed for your sims can be publicly disgraced respected they can be in public spotlight and a little bit more you can pay off the paparazzi for them to just not getting your things and some things you can get publicly disgraced for is fighting getting caught cheating, cheating in university, skinny dipping, sunbathing in a nude, uh, being overly medicated, maybe you're drunk or something like that, sabotaging items, breaking up with someone, public woohoo, even threatening the paparazzi. And that's just a little bit. Um, publicly disgrace, things like having a baby out of wedlock, hiding a pregnancy, stealing an object. Public spotlight actions can be, maybe you, you gave birth, you went on vacation, you have a new partner you just got married your kids are aging up purchasing a retail store things you could be publicly respected for is losing a spouse a loss in the family volunteering giving a donation and more so there's a lot of different things that can happen um to your celebrity sims you also can have moral support events it says when sims are publicly disgraced you'll get an get this invite from your family members to support you morally um you also can get texts from other sims like oh you deserved what you got or i'm so sorry this is happening to you you can even read the starlight weekly where sims can read up on celebrity gossip and rumors next mod i want to talk to you guys about is the let's get fit mod it adds a ton of different fitness objects in your game with custom animations and it'll help your sims build muscles or lose calories it's something I've been using in a lot of my series and it's just really fun. Again, refresh your animations, brand new things you can put in your game. And there's also been some CC creators who've actually made more objects with the same functions from this mod. And we can see people doing these things here. These are just four of the objects, but there are so many more. I want to say around like 10 or 12 objects. And you can see your Sims doing some things. We just got them working out in the garage right here. Now we can focus on my little baby. The next mod I want to talk about is the toddler play items from Pandasama. There's a whole bunch of different items that have been added for toddlers, such as the xylophone, rocking horses. We even have a little makeup set over here. We have a play tunnel. I think there is even the play basketball set as well so many cute little items for your toddlers to do and it's just so cute the toddler makeup one is really adorable because she can even give makeovers to other sims and they'll have like little crayon marks and makeup all over their face they actually look kind of crazy <laughs> this is just too cute she could play with her little makeup and she, all the things she's been doing watching her mom and look Playing in makeup and she got all the makeup on her face. It's so cute, y'all. Okay, next we're gonna get into Little Miss Sam mod, starting with my pet. So say right now we have five Sims in our house and I don't want any of my household slots to be taken up with pets, including cats, dogs, and horses. What I'll do is I'll go in here and under lot challenges i'll put on the lot challenge my pets and it says pets will come home autonomously if this lot trait is added to their home um so once we do that and we have our dog say we we know what dog we want you would basically put that dog in another household and you will click on the phone under home and go to my pets you'll find your dog and we're gonna say our dog is chubbs right here this is our dog this is our house dog our family dog we want chubbs here chubbs gonna take a little minute gonna arrive and then this is your dog your dog is going to do everything your animals would do if they're regularly in your household um I, you can still you know fill the pet bowls and do all things like that um and say for instance that maybe you went somewhere and you noticed that chubbs is not here Depending on their traits, sometimes dogs like to just wander off or whatever if you can't find them. Um, you can go under my pets and you can, you know, 
you can cancel this pet being your pet, whatever, but you can call your pet home. So say if your pet was somewhere else, you can call them home and they will show up here. You can still interact with them. You can still do different things with them. Um, and you can even check on their needs to see if they need anything. Um, if you're not able to see those types of stats. As your animals are out and about, of course, you can click on them. You can call them over. You can even lock the camera on them to see where they are. You can see Josie here is just taking a little stroll, things like that. And you're still able to, uh, sim you know, somewhat control them. They'll still function as your pet and things like that. You can call them over. So because you don't have the icon down there, you can still use like this menu here to call them over and around and things like that. Quick baths and showers is one of my favorite mods, but the best thing that's been added is that you can now do quick baths with your infants and your toddlers. It is so handy. It works so well, especially when you have multiple kids like me and you have to give all of them baths. I love that they take a short amount of time. I think it's about 10 to 15 in-game minutes versus like the 30 to 45, depending on the quality of your showers quick baths and quick showers that's like my go-to <laughs> if i'm not trying to get a certain mood lit or a certain mood i promise you i'm using quick baths next mod we're going to get into is the online learning system this is literally one of my favorite mods perfect for when you're trying to gain skills and maybe you just don't want to take such a long time but it's just an alternative way for your sims to learn things they can learn them on their phone their the computer or even the tablet so we've already paid for online learning and now we're able to build skills so i can just say i want her to build skill in baking and she will begin researching baking on the computer and learning that skill once you pay for online learning you will get a little app here and you can pay ten dollars for a skill game which will give you a skill boost let me see if i can find a mood yes yeah, you'll get a skill boost for two two hours and when I tell you the skills move up insanely fast, like it's really fast. Right now I got her studying baking when she's not talking and you can see how fast the skills are going up and you can use them for any skill in the game. Power naps is our next mod. I get asked about this all of the time. Power naps are great, especially for rags to riches because you just don't have time for them to sleep because you, you just need to make money, money and money and that's it. Man, I love a good power nap. I'm gonna go ahead and put her, I'm gonna put her sleep down. You can see how fast the naps go and how much energy she's actually gaining for this. There is an option on this mod if you don't want them to get, you don't want them to get as much energy. Um, You can add that additional mod in, but I love this when I just don't have a whole bunch of time to sleep. But we got kids that's hungry and skills we need for work and gotta cook dinner. I promise you the power nap mod is perfect. The next mod I wanna talk about is a family favorite, which is the allowance mod. Unfortunately, I can't showcase this right now because we have toddlers, but it allows your kids and your teens to collect allowance. There's four different tiers that you can choose from and allowance also ranges between grades, traits, and manners and responsibilities. If you have parenthood installed, um, they will get allowance twice a week and they will also get a little account that all the money goes into. If your Sim also has its their own bank account, maybe you could put that money in there as well using SMB bank. But I just love that they're able to collect their own money and they can spend it. And it's really cute. Teens can uh, mess with their tease, their siblings about the allowance. And if their allowance is discontinued, they will also receive a sad mood lit. Next mod I want to talk to you about is school holidays. This is actually a tradition. You can set it so your Sims or excuse me, your kids and your teenagers don't have school that day. If you click this box day off of work and school, this is for kids and adults. But if you just want your kids to be out of school, maybe you're planning a summer break or something in your game, you can basically set this up and you can call this a uh, summer break do this holiday for like three or four days back to back and your kids are home from school and they it doesn't penalize them or anything like that and it's just super cute the next mod i want to talk about is the small invite hangout overhaul we can go here to travel and we can see how a little bit about this mod but basically you can invite up to 25 sims to go with you 
while you're out and about. So if you're planning a gathering or a get together on another lot, you can go ahead and select your Sims to do so. This also works if you're going on vacation and you want to invite more than eight Sims, you can use this mod to do that as well. So it just gives you the option to bring more people so things can be a little bit more lively. Another one of my favorite mods is the send to bed mod. You can send your kids to bed. So right now it is two o'clock in the morning and Aspen is not sleep. I believe you can also set bedtimes with this as well. And right now Aspen is going to bed because her mother told her to. It is the cutest thing ever. It doesn't just work with kids. It works with adults as well. If you wanted people to just go to sleep for whatever reason, you can say send to bed and they will go to sleep as well as go to bed with. This is something I use, especially if I have like couples or maybe a significant other that doesn't live with you. Maybe if they're coming over for the night, stay in the night, you could just say, hey, go to bed with me and we'll, they'll both get into bed and go to sleep. So if I have Ace and Journey say, hey, go to bed with me, they'll both get ready. They'll come up here and they'll get into bed and go to sleep. Spend the weekend with has to be one of my favorite mods when you just need a break. Girl, when you need a break, you find someone, it could be family, it could be friends, girl, it could be people you don't even know or like. You can click on them and you can say, look, I need you to take this sim because I need a minute. And it could be literally anybody in your household. I need a little break from baby Denver. So I'm gonna send him to his godmother house and she's gonna come and she's gonna pick him up. And he, um, I'll be gone. You can call me when you want and they can pick up multiple Sims at the same time. If we want a little break from Aspen as well, we could say, Hey, just come get the kids, take them for the night, take them for the day. I need a little bit of time. It could be for any reason, of course, storytelling, whatever. And when you're ready for your babies to come home, when you miss them a little too much, you can call them home so we can click and say, Hey, I want Denver to come back, send my baby back. I need him to be here with me. I miss him too much. It was a mistake. I don't need a break. I promise you I don't. Photographic memory is literally one of my favorite mods. There's different items that have functions in the game, but basically any picture that you take that's in your Sims inventory or on your lot, you can use them to put up canvas pictures and other things around your home. We're gonna have Journey take a photo. We're gonna say we're gonna take a photo of this plant here. She's gonna take it, everything is gonna be great. I highly recommend you come in here and improve your photo quality. So here's our plant, it's only normal. We're gonna improve that. And then we can go back in and we will create photo gifts. And then we can decide what we want it to be on. I'm gonna do a small landscape canvas here and we'll scroll down to our picture, the one that is better quality. Here we go, right here and then it'll appear in your inventory already on its little canvas and you can hang it up around your house. Like how cute is that? On here, you can customize the print. You can do other things as well. You can set who took the picture, mood list, descriptions, filters, all that good stuff. Something that goes well with this is the Sim Portrait Maker as well. You can use this and you can also create Sim Portrait. So if we wanted a portrait of Aspen here, we can take this, it'll appear in our inventory. And now we have this cute little school like yearbook photo of the Sim, whatever outfit they're in at the time, that is what they'll have in the picture. And it's the cutest thing ever. The third mod that goes very well with this, the ISO photo mod, it gives you this camera. This camera is literally the goat. So you can set this camera up wherever you like. There's even a tripod that's recommended that you can use it with. But what I just do is I put it in my inventory, sit it on something and just move it around the house and it, it could be floating, it could do whatever it needs to do. I can click on that, have a sim, take a photo as you can see. And this gives you all of the options, okay? You can move around, you can move down, you can completely rotate the axis that you're on. You can take different size pictures and you also have 25 instead of I think five or 10. So it just gives you m way more function. So you can take this picture here in the highest quality. You can change the orientation and do all that. And it's going to be a perfect picture every time. When you put all three of those together, you can really get you some good, good quality pictures that you can put all around your house. Another one of my favorite mods by Ravishin is the family portrait mod. It is the cutest thing ever. It takes the gallery portrait of your household 
and it puts it in a nice little frame. There's two different types of frames with a lot of different swatches. And you can lock the portrait in place when you have a picture that you just love so very much. You can change the frame color. You can unlock the portrait so it can update as you want to. You can randomize everything. As you can see, it was locked. So we didn't have crystal in there. And now we can continue to randomize the pose and see what looks good. This look good. So I'll just lock the portrait. You could change everybody's outfits as well. We could say, I want everybody in swimwear and see what that looks like. You could say, I want everybody in their formal clothes. And it's just whatever your gallery picture is, your gallery uh, poses, it's just gonna take that and run with it. Super cute. Let's just use our regular everyday outfits. And there we go. Next up is the pantry shelves. I use pantry shelves all the time. It is the system by Ravasheen where you can place food. It will lock in its freshness and Sims will not autonomously eat from this. I use this all of the time. When I'm making food, if I have a cake, I don't want anyone to touch. You can just simply get that food and put it here on the shelf and it will lock in the freshness. So here we have some chicken quesadillas. As you can see, we got three hours left on them and I don't want anyone to touch them. So what I'm gonna do is put them over here on these pantry shelves. And you can see here, the freshness is locked in. There's no timer and no Sim will go and eat this. I will even try to test it out where I tell her to go and eat and she can't. The only thing she can do is drag it around. There's so many slots on the shelf so you can stack things up and really make a really cute functional pantry. That just about wraps up all of our gameplay mods. So now we're gonna move into some quality of life mods. Starting with Little Miss Sam's Garden Workaround Fix. I depend on this mod so much. Y'all know how much I love to garden in my game. And one thing that was starting to annoy me is when the plants revert back to dirt piles when you fertilize them or whatever the case may be. With this fix, your plants won't revert back down to dirt piles and they'll even continue to grow when they're out of season, but they won't provide fruit. If you wanted a full garden or a full orchard without your plants dying down, reverting back or whatever, use this mod because it'll keep everything blossoming and blooming, but it will not produce any fruit unless it's in season. Another mod I want to talk about is the choose leftover mods. This is one of my favorites because sometimes when I just click on my sim to say, Hey, you know, just go and eat or do something like that. They'll go in and get a slice of cheese or a piece of bread or something like that. So choose leftovers has become one of my new favorites. You can click here on the fridge, go to get leftovers and whatever's in the fridge, you could just choose it. It also goes by your Sims dietary needs. So if they're lactose intolerant or vegetarian, it won't give them options with those things in it. So because journey is lactose intolerant, it wouldn't suggest mac and cheese in here for her to get. It goes based off your Sims dietary restrictions. All right, the house is getting a little crazy with all the dogs and things running around. So we did another little restart. Let's get right back into it. The next mod I wanna talk about is let friends age up. This is such a handy mod. So we can come over here and you'll see the new thing here that says age up. And if I'm to click this, I can choose anybody to age up with me. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this girl, Stacy. All right, and just like that, Stacy just aged up. She was a young adult and now she aged up into an adult. I use this a lot at kids parties. I am gonna be using this mod literally in the next episode of our journey. When Aspen grows up into a kid, I'm gonna be turning all of her little toddler friends into children as she ages up. The next quality of life mod that I cannot live without are my map replacements, y'all. I need my map replacements. Like, it just looks so good. It literally looks so amazing. I love how Del Valley looks with this little sun ray right here. One of my favorites has to be San Mashuno. There is a light and a dark version or like a day and night, I should say, a day and night version of San Mashuno. I love that it's a nighttime map replacement. It looks so good. I think there's the same thing with Strangerville. You can get Strangerville at, for daytime or nighttime as well. And this just looks really good. And this is the world of Copperdale. You can see all of the trees and just the different colors. And y'all, it is just 
beautiful. Look at Sartosa. Y'all, I still have yet played in this world. I definitely need to do something. A honeymoon, a vacay, a vacation, something. I need to do something in this world. It's so pretty and I never played in it before. They're all made by the same creator so you can find them all in one space. Another mod I can't live without is the Control Any Sims mod. I use this so much as you can see. Are they flirting? Ace. Ace, hello? Hello? I gotta remember that this is not the safe file, but what is you doing? As you can see, this lady right here. Girl, I don't even know your name. You just made me mad. You lucky this a mod video. <laughs> This girl, Stacy, is not a part of my house. And what I can do here is with the Control Any Sims mod, you can click here, go on the Sim and go to Action, and you can click Control Sim. This will add the Sim to your household, and you're able to control them and do anything as if they were. And as soon as you're done, you finish using them for whatever you want, you go back into the Actions menu and you click on don't control sim and they will be removed. Girl, this next mod is truly a lifesaver. This is the steady sit mod. When I just need sims of any age group to sit down, not move, don't go nowhere, don't touch nothing, just sit down. They can still talk and do things they can do while they're seated, while they're, excuse me, while they're seated, but they will not get up unless you tell them you can also tell other people to steady sit as well. So if I wanted Crystal to come sit over here, I can say that and Crystal should get up, sit there and she should not move. Crystal get up for the mod video. She was talking. The next mod I needed a little cat model for So here we have Nacho, we added them to the family. The next mod is the selectable pets always. This is a brand new mod. It is not the previous mod where you can always have your, I can't even remember what, I think it was like AOM or something like that. And it was like selectable pets. This is a new mod, selectable pets always. It works for cats, dogs, and horses. This mod makes it so you can control your pet. You can see their needs. You can direct them to do things. You can say, hey, um, come over here and okay, scratch up the sofa. You can literally direct your pets to do stuff. You could tell them to go and lay down. You could tell them to eat and they will do it just like if you was controlling them. No issues with this mod. Um, you can still use UI cheats with things like this. And it's, it just makes it so you can see. You not you honestly just need to see their needs and that's it. And you can direct them to do things. But I just love this mod because I I always want to control my pets and things like that. The next quality of life mod is Infant Care Tweaks. Man, this mod has helped me so much there's four things that come within this mod it is the less checking on the infant milestones needs and socials so for less checking up on the infant when infants first came out like sims were just obsessed with the babies without this mod i don't know how i would have survived because it was just irritating me so much so less checking up on the infants they'll still do a check for them but just not as frequently um, for the infant's needs, there's less diaper blowouts. Um, high chair foods will raise hunger more. Infants will need less sleep once they've had certain milestones. So it just helps. Milestones, it accelerates, especially the crawl and pull up stand, pull up to stand milestones because those can be very, those can take a very long time. We just don't have enough time with infants and I don't have time for milestones to just be taking forever. So this mod is a godsend, especially just with the needs. The needs would just plummet for infants. They would instantly just be going down so fast and it was just chaotic. I love infants. They're already very, very challenging. Even without this mod, I couldn't even imagine without this mod. So when I added it in, it's still very challenging. Don't get me wrong. Infants and in toddlers, girl, it's a lot, but it's doable. I don't know how people play without this mod. Moving on to our next mod. And yes, Journey is still sitting here. It is the Any Toddler play date. Now, this is just essential because what grown person just out here just re meeting random toddlers? Please tell me because I'll wait. I don't know. Here we go right here. It makes it so... We're the host toddler, of course, the host caregiver. You can choose whoever. It just, it choose all of the toddlers like in your world. So you don't have to know these Sims in order 
for your toddler to have a play date, which just makes it easier for them to find friends. And just so your sim doesn't have to go out somewhere and meet a toddler. <laughs> The next mod, I don't know if it was an oversight or not, but the next mod is pedicures for men. I don't know why that's not a thing, but we got us a little chair over here. I'm gonna have Journey give Ace a pedicure. She gonna go get him and he can get his toes done. So Ace chose his nail color and now we have Journey over here just helping him out with his feet. But I don't know if that was an oversight or not, but Girl, get the mod so your men can get their toes done. They feet be beat up sometimes and they need a little help too. And it ain't nothing wrong with it. So y'all can see my man here is getting a full on setup. Okay, full treatment. We getting our nails, toes, fouled down. He just soaked his feet for a little bit. Now Journey getting to work, girl. Help your man out. I know that's right. That's love right there. Leaning into the nail stuff, we're gonna move on to our next mod which is the self manicure and pedicure mod. Last time I showed this, you could only do manicures, but you could do your pedicures now. So I can click on journey and she can do a home manicure. She can be seated or on the floor. I'm gonna have her do it seated. So she can go over here and pick her nails. We're just gonna say, okay, let's do a cute little pink color. And journey should take a seat and go ahead and start doing her nails. She'll have a nice little fresh set when she's done and she can do her pedicure as well. Okay, sis finished her nails. Okay, girl, let me get your skills because the money we pay is too much. And now she's gonna see here, she's gonna do her pedicure. I'm trying to see if I can get a good angle. I'm sorry, I got so much stuff in this house, but she's over here doing her toes. I told her to do some little white toenails because if you know, you know. <laughs> and everything is coming together it's pretty quick too you don't have to go all the way to the spa to do your nails because sometimes that could just be inconvenient and why they acting like we can't do our nails at home and it is the set filters on painting so i'm gonna have journey just come over here do a quick little paint from reference we're gonna take a photo um let's just do something right here she's gonna take that and she's gonna paint it and basically what this mod does is get rid of the graininess. I'm not sure if you're familiar with painting in the game, but majority of the times when you're painting from reference, it is very unclear what the picture is, it's blurry, the pixels or something, girl. It's just not it. All right, so here's our painting. We just painted very blurry. We're gonna do no filter and look at that. Perfect. Now it's like, it's like a little picture, it's like a TV screen. Staying on here with the painting, we're gonna go ahead and get into our in-game overrides, our last category of this video. Who has been long, girl? Right now, I have Journey Painting, and this is the Black Art Painting mod. It is an override of all the art. It's over 300 new paintings in a Black Art aesthetic form, and y'all, they are so cute. Like, look at this. There's so many. Make sure you click on the link so you can see like just all of the varieties and they're so stinking cute. You can still sell them to the collector, list them on Plopsy, do all of those things. But y'all, over 300, that's so much, so many. So of course, everything is based on your skill level. You can still do emotional and mood paintings. The art categories that they override is classic, pop art, surreal, abstract, realism, imperialism, emotional, landscape, and figure painting. So there's so many to choose from. Y'all, I just love it so much. I just be wanting to paint and put everything around the house, but imagine an art gallery, an art sale, a sh art street sale. Like this is just too cute, y'all. I love it so much. The next in-game override, y'all, is the romantic rose. So normally when you offer a rose to someone, it's just like a rose with nothing. But this is like a little bouquet. Look at that, isn't that cute? I have so many in-game overrides, but I'm only choosing a few that I think y'all will enjoy. But isn't that so cute? Just like a singular rose and it's like wrapped up. Like it's actually a fault. It's not just like... <laughs> You stole this rose off a rose bush. It's really cute and I just love it, y'all. The next override I want to show off is this cleaning spray bottle. I think there's six different variations to choose from. I don't know why my girl, she cleans fast. She has the clean and fast trait. There we go. 
I went with this blue and yellow lemony design. It's super cute and it's just something to add to my gameplay. The next thing I want to show off is my sponge replacement. I believe they call it a scrub father instead of a scrub daddy, but it is a white sponge. I think there's a other option, other color swatches, I should say, to choose from. And it's just really cute, a little circular little sponge. The next in-game override I want to showcase is my nursery bottles. What I feed my little infants. It's a cute little baby bottle with stickers all over it by Sixum. I love it. It's so cute. And it just matches. It goes with everything. But this is the baby bottle. It's so cute. I love the little stickers. And I think there are other color swatches to choose from as well. The override that I have is a cute little wooden board. These have a ton of different swatches um, with them. It, you can see like the little flower and the yellow bowl. I think the thing that changes is the color of the bowl. So there's so many uh, color variants to choose from. It has my little eggs and butter on it. And this specifically is the bacon board. This next one is the actual cutting board. So when your Sims is cutting up stuff, how it looks. I love this one with the little heart detail. It's cute. There are a lot of swatches to choose from. This is just the one that I chose. Here is the fridge bread cutting board. Um, this is just what it looks like when you're taking it out the fridge. Again, very cute in this little simple design. And last, this is my fridge vegetable board. Again, very cute, very simple. It's small, but it means a lot to me. Here are all four cutting boards, just so you have a reference of what I was going for. The next thing I wanna talk about here are my movies. There, there is now an ultimate movie pack where you can mix and match which movies you want in your game. I think there's 10 to 11 of them and they're numbered. The post that I'm going to link, you can go through all of the ones that they provide and pick one per number. So this is the setup that I have right now. Beauty Shop, Black Panther, Bring It On, Cinderella, Rush Hour 2, Space Jam, Spider-Man Homecoming, Parent Trap, and Bad Boys 2. And right now my sim is just watching Mean Girls. It has audio, it has picture, it's cute, it's real. If I want to take a little gander at my... <laughs> At my Sims watch a TV, I actually know what's going on and I just think it's really cute. Last but not least is my phone replacement. I replace my phones all the time, but I've been loving this version. It's perfect. I love that it has like things on the screen and I believe it changes when your Sim does things on does different things on the phone as well. So as you can see right here, I have her playing a game. So her phone screen has changed versus when she was just browsing the web. Also, when I have her send a text, you can see that the phone screen changes as well. Girl, can you move your hand so we can see? Thank you. Thank you very much. So I just love that it changes with what they're doing. It also functions if you change the phone case as well. So let's go ahead and change it to this green background and see what that looks like. And now you can see the phone change. The phone case has changed. I love the attention to detail. I love that the screens change. This is something that's really big for me, especially if you're a machinima person and you need things to match what you're doing. Definitely look into switching this to your new phone. Okay, y'all. And just like that, we are done. Oh my goodness. Over 100 freaking mods to put in your game. Y'all, this was a crazy project, but anything for the D squad. If I was able to help you even in the slightest way, if you found one mod, two mods, 50 mods to 100, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it really helps me and the channel so freaking much. This video took an insane amount of time to put together and I really appreciate the support. I'm gonna be linking everything in one big post. It'll be linked on my Patreon, but don't be scared. It is a free post for everyone. It's just easier for me to link everything in one area where I can have full control of the list and edit things if need be. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this from beginning to end, I appreciate you so much. So take a look at that list, find you some new mods, enhance your game, and happy simming. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, stay in the house, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.